In this video I'm going to put together a relay board in order to show you how you can use relays and terminal strips to connect multiple amplifiers, LEDs, or anything else that needs to turn on with a remote wire trigger. Typically in a single amp setup you would just need to connect the remote wire directly to the amp. If you have several components that need to turn on it's better to use a relay and terminal strip to help prevent damage to your head unit. A relay is a switch but instead of having to press a button or flip a switch to activate it it is actually triggered by voltage in this case the voltage is the remote wire trigger and I've got an automotive relay a terminal strip a switch and a couple of old LED strips I pulled out of my Civic that I'm gonna use for the relay board and I'll get this together real quick and then I'll start explaining more So this is your setup right here. Uh, it's a little bit hard to see, so I'll just show this relay right here. Your ground connection is gonna go right here. Um, it's the one right over here. Your constant 12 volt connection is gonna go right here. So these two connections are the ones that are gonna go to your power supply or the battery. This one right over here, it's this one. This is where your remote wire is gonna connect to, the one coming from the head unit. This is what's going to go to your um, your other amps, or if you have any LEDs, that's it's going to connect to that one. So it's that one on the bottom right over here. And this is the setup. I got a battery right over here. Um, so we're going to simulate this as being the power supply. So I got a jumper. The black is going to the negative, and the red is going to the positive. So with that connected, you should see right over here, if you look at the meter, if you check each of these terminals, this is where the battery is connected. This is running around to these two terminals right here. So you got your positive and then you have your negative. So if you check the voltage, so you're getting 12 volts. Since you got your ground here, you've got your other devices that are gonna connect. Um, in this case, I have these two sets of LEDs. Um, they're both connected right over here. Actually, let me do this. So I have both of the devices connected to different spots. You should see 12 volts going in here. So you're always gonna have this 12 volts going into the relay. And this is where I have the remote connection. It's coming down here into the terminal block and it's gonna connect to this wire here. And I have the other end of the wire here. So when I put this wire on the positive, that's simulating the remote wire turning on on your head unit. So when you put it here on the positive, it causes the lights to light up. So if you check the voltages again, I have it on the ground, and then I'll have it on the positive here. So right now you're not getting anything, but when you hook up the remote wire, 12 volts and the lights turn on. And up top here, you're also gonna notice I have the ground coming down here and I have a jumper here so that you can have a connection right over here for all your ground connections for if you have any lights or anything like that at all that you want to hook up. Um, 
I did that other video recently. My most recent one was the, um, the backup camera. So this is actually where I would have the backup camera hooked up. So the backup camera, I'd have the negative going here and I could have the positive going somewhere else over here. So you could have it hooked up here. So in that way, with that connected like that, the power for that particular device will only be on when that remote wire is hooked up. So hook it up, you got power to it. You'll see at each of these terminals we get the 12 volts. So essentially what happens when you apply 12 volts to the relay, it actually connects these two. It causes a connection between these two terminals on the relay which would be this top one and the bottom one down here. So basically by doing that, instead of getting power from the remote wire going to each of your devices, you're actually getting power from whatever your 12 volt source is. The reason why you're doing that is because you don't want to overload that circuit for the, for the remote connection. Um, it can only handle so much, so if you have you know, different LEDs or if you have several processors or amps, you don't want them all hooked up running off that remote wire. So you want to have the relay and the terminal block so you can distribute all that. Now that's pretty much the basics if you just want to hook up multiple amps and, and lights or anything like that. But um, I'll probably make another video to get, you know, do a little bit more complicated circuits. Like, you know, if you wanted the LEDs only to turn on when you open the trunk, then I could do that too. There's just a couple other things you can do with it. So whenever I get to doing that, I'll probably add a couple more relays to this here. But that's it for this video. Um, if you have any questions or comments about it, just uh, leave a few comments down below. Uh, like and subscribe and all that good stuff. Um, well, yep, yeah, that's it.